Welcome to the show tonight. Tonight we're going to discuss terpenes and flavonoids and their effect on your experience with cannabis and hemp. Terpenes and flavonoids are aromatic and flavor molecules in the essential oils of plants. Terpenes provide each plant's distinctive scent or essence and are used to attract pollinators, repel pests, and discourage herbivores. Humans utilize terpenes for therapeutic purposes and in a wide range of products. From soaps to perfumes to pharmaceuticals, like different flowers and spices, different strains of cannabis have unique odors ranging from sweet to skunky to floral, and these are the chemical signatures of terpenes. Terpenes are also building blocks of chemicals such as THCA, the acidic form of THC. Terpenes and flavonoids are also major components of cannabis resin extracts. Upwards of 30% of all cannabis smoke consists of terpenes. Studies show that terpenes account for some of the medical benefits of cannabis, including pain relief and anti-inflammatory effects. Studies also show that terpene content is the largest difference between cannabis sativa and cannabis indica. The general rule that patients often prefer sativa phenotypes for daytime use and indica phenotypes for nighttime use suggests that the sedative effects of cannabis are influenced by terpenes. Next, let's name a few terpenes and flavonoids that have the most common synergistic behavior um, with the cannabinoids uh, and your experience with both cannabis and hemp. Now, these terpenes are found in a multitude of different plants um, and fruits and flowers uh, all across the world. So these aren't just limited to cannabis, but these are the ones that happen to have an extremely interesting synergistic behavior with cannabinoids. Um, and these are gonna be some of their names and then some of the, the properties that they have and um, again, these are just a few, a survey of the top ones that um, have been discovered that have the highest concentration in uh, extracts to date. So uh, eventually they're, they're obviously going to find more uh, and we'll find out additional content to these. But for now, this is what we, what we have uh, information to. First, we got pinene, which is an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and bronchal dilator. Next we have myrcene, which is a sedative and acts as a muscle relaxant. Next we have limonene, which is anti-anxiety and an antidepressant. Next we have terpenoline, which acts as a pain reduction aid and a digestive tract protector. Next we have linalol, which is an anesthetic and anticonvulsive medicine. Next we have terpenol, which is an antibacterial, antiviral, and aids in your immune system function. Next we have caryethylene, which is an anti-inflammatory, aids in pain reduction, and helps protect your digestive tract. Next we have humulene, which acts as an anti-inflammatory. And lastly we have isamine, which is a decongestant, antiseptic, and acts as an antiviral medicine. Just to name a few. To all of our listeners, if you'd like to get in touch with any of the cannabis consultants at Fillmont Fusion, please visit fullmeltfusion.com. I'll put a link in the description box. And for those who found this content interesting and want more, then hit the subscribe button and like this video. Thanks for tuning into the show tonight.